Hi there, Frank here from Remac, and in this short video, we're going to carry out a little experiment here. And first, let me start by referring to a video here we did a couple of weeks ago. It's on YouTube now. And what we did here in this video is we just put price on a chart. It happens to be the NQ500 tick chart. Only price, no indicator, no day boundary, no information whatsoever. And then we marked up the ideal imaginary entries that we would like to go long or short from on this chart. And then what we did, once we done that, we put the Remek algorithm on the chart. And then we saw how similar are the signals that our algorithm calculates to an imaginary optimal signals that we'd love to have for us available for us as we trade. Okay, and we of course notice a remarkable similarity. But then the question comes, was this a fluke, just random luck, or is this a real indication of how strong and how good our algorithm is? This is the question we're asking today. So what we're gonna do here, I created a Excel table here, and there's two numbers here, a random instrument, Every time I press F9 in Excel, you see, a new number will be generated randomly. So I don't know what the next number is going to be, of course. And the number is between 1 and 26. And the reason is that we have 26 instruments in our Market Scanner Pro. All right, so I'm going to press F9. We're going to generate a number. And whatever that number is, that's the instrument we're going to put on the chart. That's one thing. The second row is just a tick chart between 100 and 1,000, a random number between 100 and 1,000. Again, who knows what it will be? Who knows what the instrument will be? Who knows what the tick chart will be? So we're going to get a random chart. And then nothing on the chart, only price. We're going to mark up the imaginary optimal, impossible to achieve signals as a trader. And then once we have the instrument and once we have the tick size, we're going to put it on the chart, mark up the ideal entry points, and then we'll put the Remek trigger indicator, the momentum algorithm on the chart, and we'll see how good they might be. Let's see. So I'm going to press F9 just once right now. Okay, so that's the instrument number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the GC. So far, so good. And then 387 is the tick size. So I'm going to change the data series to 387. All right. So this is a chart I've never seen before. Let's see. Again, we're looking at the GC on a 387 tick chart. It's just a tick chart randomly generated by Excel. And what we're going to do here, now I can minimize Excel. We don't need it anymore. And actually, I don't even need this market analyzer. So we're looking at the GC market. And I'm going to put this chart full screen. Here we go. All right. So the next task is to mark up ideal entry points. So the question, where would I go? Where would I love to go long on this chart? And where would I go short, if anywhere, on this chart? Let's see. So I'm going to use a circle for longs, okay? I'd love to go long somewhere here, of course, and maybe somewhere here, obviously. Somewhere here. These are good long entry points for me. That would be almost impossible to achieve because that's the first momentum move. Anyway, long story short, I'm just marking up some ideal candles to go long from. And then, of course, short signals, maybe short here, if I'm very aggressive. Again, perhaps long here. I'd love to go long here on these points. All right. And here it goes. Okay, perhaps along here. So these are the points. It's a very small chart. Obviously, I wouldn't take all these trades on a very small chart like this. But these would be, whatever the time frame, these would be the ideal entry points. And I'm guessing that mostly you would agree, perhaps a short here. But you see, I'm not pressing shorts because the whole chart seems to be going up. And 
I'm more interested in a chart like this to go long or to go short. Okay, so these are the imaginary signals, the ideal signals. Now I'm going to put our algorithm on the chart, which will show us the triggers. So that will be the Remek Momentum Pro indicator. Here we go. I'll put the indicator, only the, just the standard settings. I'm not going to change anything. Here we go. All right. And what the question is now, how often are we get a signal, long or short, in the same area? So let me use a different color to mark this up. So I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In eight different situations, the ideal entry point that we marked up that the, and the entry point identified by the completely automated algorithm was the same. Out of about maybe 12 or 14 signals that I, as a human being, marked up. That's a pretty good ratio. I'll let you do the thinking, but I think it's obvious this algorithm is just very, very strong and accurate in identifying ideal entry points right down to the bar, you see, right down to the candle where there's a good potential to catch winning trades, profitable trades. So this little experiment, I think, shows the strength of our algorithm. Thank you very much and mindful trading.